a tiny device that makes a massive change. This is how Omega teased its latest technical development and the watch to house it. Today, we'll be talking true watchmaking technology. Typical Omega, almost geeky. One part watch, one part technical innovation. Meet the new Omega, Speedmaster, Super Racing, and the Spy Rate system. Omega, with its anti-magnetic technology and the insanely demanding master chronometer standard, has set the new benchmark for the industry. It's the result of many innovations concerning multiple components of the watch. The coaxial escapement, the silicon hairspring, the anti-magnetic movement, and all for the sake of precision. Until now, with master chronometer, watches at Omega were regulating between zero and plus five seconds a day. With the new development, named Spyrate, the brand sets a new standard. We're talking about enhanced accuracy thanks to a fine tuning system, allowing to adjust the movement in increments of only 0.1 seconds per day. And overall, it results in an accuracy between zero and plus two seconds per day. Now, how is that possible? The Spyrate system is composed of a silicon hairspring with a new geometry. It features an articulated structure that allows the watchmaker to act on the stiffness of the hairspring attachment point. This is done through an eccentric adjustment mechanism located on the balance bridge. It comes in addition of the regulating screws on the variable inertia balance wheel and allows ultra precise and easy regulation of the rate. The watch is of course still highly anti-magnetic and master chronometer certified by Metas. Once cased and fully tested, Omega is able to achieve a certified accuracy between zero and plus two seconds a day, always a bit in advance so you're never late. And yes, Omega will gradually bring this technology in other movements in the future, as the module can be easily adapted to existing calibers. But for now, there's one watch with this new Spirit system. It's the Omega Speedmaster Super Racing and its new caliber 9920. This new large chronograph is an evolution of the Speedmaster Racing series. Watches with automatic movements and two counter displays. The design is familiar with an asymmetrical case, a 44.25mm diameter and a 14.9mm height. It features lyre shaped lugs, a box shaped sapphire crystal and brushed and polished surfaces. Water resistance remains rated at 50 meters, and the bezel with tachymeter scale is black ceramic with a yellow enamel scale. The dial of the Speedmaster Super Racing is more surprising. With a sandwich construction and a honeycomb laser etched texture, it retains classic elements of the racing series. And it also pays tribute to the first fully anti-magnetic Aquaterra of 2013, with its yellow accents and the striped seconds hand. The central second also has a gradient effect. The rest is the classic two counter display with the chronograph indications in the same counter at three o'clock. Finally, the date has a special font for the 10 as an ode to a decade of anti-magnetism and precision. Inside the case of the Speedmaster Super Racing is the caliber 9920, an evolution of existing movements. This automatic in-house caliber features a double barrel architecture with 60 hour power reserve, a 4 hertz frequency, a column wheel, a vertical clutch and of course the coaxial escapement now combined with the new Spyrate system hairspring. It comes on the updated steel bracelet of the chronoscope with a Nixon-like design and a clasp with micro adjustment. The box also includes a black and yellow NATO textile strap. The whole concept is truly impressive. It may be a bit over-engineered, but that's what you expect from Omega. Once again, the brand sets the new standard of precision and industrialization. And the new Spirit might look simple, but it's actually very clever and technically complex. The watch will be available as of this summer and priced at 10,200 Swiss francs. And for even more technical details, you can consult our article on Monochrome's website. For more info and reviews, check out monochromewatches.com. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And I'll catch you guys for the next one.